Hello. Um, I figure if I had the slightest chance of additional eyes on me right now, this is a good chance to send out a PSA since the holidays are coming up. I mean, this is in general anyway, re regardless of the holidays. I did record something, but it's it's proven to be more difficult to edit than I expected because of the subject matter. Um, over 15 years ago, I was in a really bad car accident. Um, it was a drunk driver who hit me. So early 20s, I had to learn how to walk again. My pelvis was broken in five places. I'm going through this very quickly because this is a very detailed story, but I tried to get into it and I, it still was apparently a sore subject and editing it doesn't really help because every time I keep watching the same thing over and over again, I do get emotional. That's why I'm trying to be a little robotic right now because I'm trying to just get through this and say, please, 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 every day, not, not just the holidays, just please really, really reconsider getting behind the wheel if you're in any way, shape, or form under any type of influence of anything, please. Because, I mean, people used to ask me, why don't you do some public speeches because you've been through this. And the reason I give is because I don't look hurt. And that sounds kind of like, what? But if you think about it, I, I survived a really bad crash that I could have died from. It was really bad. I mean, I'm so lucky to be alive. I'm lucky to be able to walk. I'm lucky that, I mean, this is the most shallow of, of the things. I'm lucky that I don't look worse considering I had glass coming into my face, into my head, really. And I had this tiny little scar, but as you can see, like, I had it so short and there's barely anything. And like I said, that's the most shallow thing. But at the same time, I, you know, I, I know I often act like I don't really care how I look because I don't really. But at the same time, sometimes I want to look nice and something like that, as much as I don't want to be shallow. But otherwise, like, my hip. To this day hurts especially when it's raining outside i have really bad bursitis on the side of my hip i'm so lucky that it wasn't worse but even what happened to me and my husband he was my boyfriend at the time luckily he only had whiplash i had the worst of it but we're so lucky and it's so strange because i don't remember the actual hit I didn't, I lost a day and I lost that memory. I, I remember seeing the car right there. I just don't remember the hit. And that freaked me out for such a long time. I didn't drive for a year. You know, I'm not making my point really well. I have a really hard time not getting rambly and really getting my point across unless I'm writing. Like what I, I notice that when I type, I, I'm a lot clearer because I can look at it and edit myself. Sometimes I don't even edit and I just... I kind of scan it quickly and then just go for it because I know that if I overthink it, I'll, I'll stop myself. And sometimes I come off super blunt because of that. But in this case, I don't care. I want to come off super blunt. Don't do it, please. Because we, you know, things could have been a lot worse, but they're pretty bad sometimes. And my anxiety and depression situations that I have, that I've had since before this accident, did not get better due to this accident. I'm pretty sure that I have CPTSD. I'm not positive. I've never been diagnosed. This is really me just guessing. And I tend to do that. I mean, I know I have to be careful. I'm not saying that this is really it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a regular person like anybody else who I feel like most of the knowledge in my head is slightly unsure because of the sources that I see that I always question, like, is this reliable? But let me tell you something. This is reliable. You can believe me when I say that this happened to me and it was the worst thing ever. It's the worst experience of my life and it felt like it ruined me. So please, if all you take from this is somebody is just ranting about it, maybe it'll get in your head. Maybe I'm annoying enough to get in your head and tell you, please don't drink and drive. Because as much as some people might do it because they in their heads, and I hope you don't feel this way. And if you do, I hope you get to a better place some people don't care about what happens to them but when you're doing that it's not just about you at that point because I mean that guy 
the the guy who hit me was younger than I am now. He was 36 years old and he could have ruined my life and his life and a bunch of other people's lives just because he decided on a Wednesday night, on a clear Wednesday night, to have a few beers and fly down the road and not even hit his brakes because he didn't even see us. Let me tell you, uh, they had to pry open my cars and pull, pull me out with the jaws of life. I had a Ford Thunderbird. That car saved my life. I had a big clunk. It was so old. It was a big tin can. But it saved my life. You know, the what-ifs, you can definitely put some what-ifs in there. But I'm alive. But I'm in pain. And I know that if, if my voice reaches anybody, I really want you to know I'm serious here. This is not... I, I feel like I'm a pretty good actress. I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes... I, you know, I exaggerate, obviously, but if I really try, I know I could do a good job sometimes. But this is not acting. <laughs> Let me tell you how much it ruined my life. And I'm going to stop talking now, actually, because I'm feeling it happening. I don't want to cry because this is serious. And I don't want anyone thinking that this is a sob story or anything. This, it's not. Just don't do it. Okay? I've said my piece. I feel good about it. I'm not even going to edit because... Uh, I said what I said. Okay, I have to be silly sometimes because I don't want to... I riled myself up. Because I feel very strongly about this. So take care of yourselves. Try to get to a better place than you are if you're not in a good place. Don't... like Remember that it's not always also just about you. And if you care about other people, just think for a second... With, with your words, with your, with your actions, with just anything. Just, just think for a second. And just do the right thing. And I've said my piece. And again, it was very rambly, but I... Have a fantastic holiday, holidays, anything. Just take care of yourselves.